That sounds very good. I like that. Sorry, I'm folding my sleeves. Hey everyone, welcome to Presences Dark Awakening. I went through like my entire Steam library, clicked a bunch of random things and recommendations and found a couple new indie horrors that I kind of like missed at the time that they came out that seem pretty promising. What drew me in is so superficial, but the title is giving me really like classic horror vibes, if you know what I mean, like Mouth of Madness kind of, do you read Sutter Kane kind of letters, I don't know. And that's purely why we're playing this one today. So let's see what it's like. They say this old house is haunted. If it is, that means there is an afterlife. Tonight, I am going to find out. Haunted house, yeah, I didn't even know that. I am so down, let's go. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, checkpoints, great. I am a redhead. Cozy Marshmallow. Your dev name is Cozy Marshmallow and you make a horror game? Oh, hell yeah. Presences. Doesn't it look like an 80s, like, book title? Like a classic horror book. Oh, I'm going underground. I'm just like, am I laying on the street? Do we access this house through the sewers? Whoa, big sewers. Rat! Hey, little friend. Use the mouse. <laughs> I thought you meant the rat. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got it. Okay. Oh, I can jump! <gasps> what a luxury. Oh, this looks good. Um, do we get... Oh, no. I have no escape. Okay. Police? Whoa. I can run as well. So is this the only way to get onto the property? Let's click on the mouse to interact. A cursor will appear showing what's interacted. Oh, the little dot? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a storm coming. Look at that. This is very atmospheric so far. I'm impressed. Oh, here's the house. Fish, a paddle, and a life. Can I turn the picture? Hmm. Ooh. Okay, time to go inside. To spectacle the hovering cursor over an object. Pending demolition. This property will be demolished as ordered by the Department of Inspections and Licenses. No person may remove this notice. Prior to the approval date, the owner of property has not been found, and therefore this dwelling unit and surrounding land will be placed under ownership of the state. The area is to become a natural wildlife refuge. Ah, oh, refuge. Until further need or sale approval by the state courts. Structure and foundation of this property are not stable. Anyone entering the premises under permit must take precautions and care. Do I have a hard hat? Multiple injuries have occurred due to structural integrity of the property. I don't need to... I'm just strolling in here. I don't need to crouch for anyone. Were they doing demolition already? Did it already start? I hope you brought a flashlight. Man. It is indeed ready for demolition. 
Spooky. Snow going upstairs. Couple boards we can probably remove. College cleanup crew. To the Department of Land Use and Development, we're done here! Another crew can clean up this place. My team doesn't feel comfortable with the job and I'm not going to be responsible for another injury. The majority of the areas have been boarded up. Bordered up. A real professional crew needs to demolish this place. A bunch of teenagers on their spring break won't do. Won't do. <laughs> I get it. Little mistakes. We can forgive them. Ooh. Okay, maybe we should go this way. What is going on? What is that? Dude, what's going on? those noises do you think it was a mistake to turn my volume up all the way oh, it's going down what is that is there a door there what couldn't even see it dear boss you have been a good friend to us and we're very appreciative of your company and the work you have provided for us when we're not in school however this latest job has been troubling for us all too many of us have been injured and experienced some uncomfortable moments. This is coming from all of us and the experience isn't isolated to one individual. Below, we collectively signed a petition to stop working on this specific job site. We don't want to quit, but we don't feel comfortable or safe in the current work environment. The crew. Ooh. Ah, oh yeah, I guess this is the only way to go. Straight to this Straight to the basement. And I'm never coming out. Hello. This way. Uh oh. He's watching. Sorry. Please go on. UFO. <laughs> Ooh. Not sure I like this. Who the fuck was breathing just now? Ooh, I don't like this. It's getting it's getting real tense. Just rotating in this room. I thought I heard breathing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <sighs> well, in for a penny. Thanks for the dip. Oh. What? What was that? Wait, nothing here? 
What if it is a UFO? What's an? What if it's an alien? The house isn't haunted. Well, it's haunted, but... Ooh, I think that might be a checkpoint indicator. Dude, you really didn't bring a flashlight or anything? Would be nice. That body. Whoa. Damn, this is cool looking. I should have never found this place. Now the presence... A presence will not let me leave. I choose not to leave. It is time for me to rest. A long rest is all I need. I wonder, oh, I should have taken a closer look at those signatures. What if this is one of the students? From the cleanup crew. The sounds are so good so far. I can jump, but do I want to? Well, I'm not going there. Maybe we can lower that platform somehow. I'll go the safest jump. Oh god! <laughs> safest jump first, I'd say, is I break my ankles. <laughs> okay, at least it's not a deadly fall. Let's try again. There you go. That's not ominous at all. Uh, you hoo Barely see. Do you have another light? Thank you. Appreciate it. Whoa. Whoa! Excuse me? Dark presence. Same swirlies. Maybe it was guiding me. So, about that disappearance of the last owner, huh? Did we time travel? This looks like the same, like that's where the vent is. Yeah, it is! Did we time travel? Hello, washing machine. You're very happy to see me. Move the washer and dryer out of the basement as soon as possible. This small space is too far away from everything. Furthermore, the water connection isn't functioning properly. My clothes never seem to get clean, Jasper. Do you think we need to do laundry? Detergent. Welcome home. <laughs> the appliances love me. A little hat. Can I read this? No. There's the spiral. Okay, so someone else. We're not the only one who saw this. I've been having this recurring dream. The dream began after I started spending more time researching these buried secrets. 
In the dream, I find myself looking at a giant pyramid structure surrounded by an otherworldly landscape. I'm still not sure why I'm having these visions or hallucinations. It must have something to do with my discoveries underground. This both excites me and terrifies me. Maybe it is the stress of moving and unpacking. I'll know more in time. What I really need to do is find a place to organize and store all my personal letters. Oh, thanks for telling me that you sent it. Great. Doors close randomly while others open. Abstract light appears in the corners of my eyes. These visions come as quickly as they go. In my dreams, I see these presences more presences more clearly. They must be attempting to communicate with me. If I had to guess, these are manifestations of trapped energy unable to find their way. They must think I can help and are attempting to communicate with me. I hope they're friendly. So far, they're just like throwing some stuff around. With all due respect, after a detailed and involved inspection of the house, water, and heating system, I can find no plausible explanation for the wild temperature fluctuations described. As far as the strange noises, I also hear them from time to time. Probably just rats. I recommend calling an exterminator. None of the noises would be coming from the heating or water systems installed. There is nothing more I can do here. I know this isn't the answer you're looking for. Best of luck with your home. I uh, read the rats recently. It's like a classic horror story uh, by James Herbert, I think his name is. They sure like to breathe. Can't take it, huh? Ooh, this opens. Excuse me? Okay, bye chair. This is a big ass basement. Was that from there? This is what you needed when you explored the house the first time. Darkness. This looks straight out of Fatal Frame. Wait, can I do that here too? Whoa! Wait, release us. Oh, there's four, there's a light between each of them. Are they all locations in the basement? They're very vague though. That looks like the vent access. Let's check. Is it you? How do I release you? Oh, I click on you. I think that might have been one. Bruh. Damn. Should we try? Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Who was that?
Mm -mm. Oh, I'm good. Do I not have to get these other pictures? Oh, I guess not. Though. Do we not even want to go up? Nope. Okay, here we go. This must stink. Wow, this looks really old. The excavating continues to go well, and it reminds me of my time in Egypt. This is the most exciting discovery of my career. The architecture is difficult to date, but it sh I should have a theory in time. I created a secret entrance for entering the excavated space and have decided to keep my discovery out of public view until I know more about what I have uncovered. A secret entrance? And it's not the one in the vents? Hmm. Whoa. Are you gonna show me? Okay. So, either the light spirit is guiding me to help me or they're just guiding me to my doom wow this is cool oh oh that's too quick Ooh. well you sure know how to make someone feel welcome Ever since I began to explore underground, my dreams have become nightmares. A recurring image of a skull haunts me. I saw it too. Sometimes hiding in the dark corners of the house, I see a skeletal figure watching me. I feel paralyzed by its presence. I must figure out why this is happening. I believe it has to do with my findings down in this ancient place. I must be close to a new discovery. What if we're the skeleton and we're just like looping through time over and over? I'm getting closer to finding the location of these markers. As I do, the more troubling my dreams get. I see the image of a spherical entity. The energy associated with this presence is negative. It may be my imagination, but it feels so real to me. I've never seen or res researched anything resembling it. My guess is this entity formed from the collective negative energy of the souls trapped underground. It is attempting to communicate with me. I wonder what... Do you think... Is this the skeleton we found, or...? Is that someone else? Oh, hello. Oh, you're coming closer. There's multiple. What does it mean, though? Oh, are they blocking the door? Do you want to move over there? So you do. So weird. go down there? I don't know if we want to, but... Is this gonna drop? Um... So what's next? Bingo? <laughs> oh. Cool. Do I need to run? Oh! You can't fit? 
Head to me. Oh. Maybe doesn't want me coming. Time to go. Just as fast going up. Cool. Oh jeez, he's coming. Oh, we closed it. What is that? Sounds like footsteps more than anything. Can't open it. Okay. Good to know. Oh, hi. No. Go, 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 go. You going to talk to me? Oh, no. Oh. Is that the spirits? Mm. Mm. Maybe they are helping me. Okay. Are we safe for now? Oh, they're opening the door. Ooh. Ooh. I was gonna say, look at this nice house, but... Anyone in violence of this violation of this notice will be terminated immediately. Removed from the residence. Property owner, Jasper. <laughs> that creek. <laughs> the house is nearly finished. Surprisingly, the process was quicker than I imagined. Even more important is that my excavating remains a secret as the building contractors worked away from my research. I find myself very lucky to have been able to purchase this land from the state. Due to budgetary cuts, the once nature reserve went up for sale. Before the state took control, a private entity owned the land. No legal will remained, so it passed to the state. Bureaucracy and budget constraints have kept this place isolated from developers, and now it went back to the state again. People like to explore and hike in the surrounding area. This doesn't bother me as the areas I'm exploring are well hidden and too dangerous for most adve to adventure. I'm looking forward to sharing my discoveries with the world in time. Hmm, outside doesn't look too good. Old tiny hat. Excited boxes. Uh oh. Read the letters. Can I? Put the rest of the fragile items in my study upstairs. Everything else can go into the attic. There's a stairway leading to the attic in my office. Okay, so we need to get go to the attic. This job has too many limitations for me to work efficiently. I know I'm not the only one. The client is paranoid, always observing, posting odd messages and telling us where we can and cannot work. I hate it. This place is creepy. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'd like to make a formal complaint and transfer to another job site. I hope for everyone on the team that this project can be completed as soon as possible. Bruh, stop it. What was that? So loud. That one light seems different. Hmm. I wonder if I need any tools at some point. Jeez, dude, you scared me. Guess we're not going in there. Okay, let's go upstairs. Whoa, it's 
squidges. Oh, sorry, spirit. Taking a bath. Watch your back. Ugh. Whoa! I saw the hands! That was cool. I've been crafting physical letters of late. They feel grounded in reality and it's nice to have a paper trail in case anything happens to me. With all the strange occurrences taking place, these notes comfort me. It also gives me a chance to practice my painting skills and take time to process what's happening around me. That's a big creakers. I'm in there. That must be the study. Bedroom. Hi. What's going on over here? My secret entrance in the basement is where most of my research takes place. However, another exists. Hiking through the forest in the back of the house, I came across a beautiful stream. Upon further investigation, I found a small hidden cave. Exploring further, I discovered more ancient tunnels. A vast network of them interconnect underground, and I'm certain more entrances exist that I have yet to discover. Oh. Hi there. Where are you going? Tearing up the walls. No. Attic. This handcrafted paper I acquire is perfect for writing on. It reminds me of the paper I find in ancient manuscripts. It's so much more enjoyable to transcribe my, my, transcribe my thoughts on than a computer. Now I just need to come up with a method of organizing my notes. Stop using them for dream coasters. What's on this? Oh, can I look at it? My password, no computers. Okay. Let's go to the attic then. Ooh, cozy lights. Could there be... Could there be a stack of ladder letters somewhere? But he didn't say, he said he needed to organize them, right? I've been in this attic before, this layout. Yeah, for sure. In other games. There it is again. Cloudy out there. Hmm. Don't see anything else. It is apparent now that I need to leave this place and never return. I am unwell. Feel negative and aggressive presences all around me. My studies cannot continue for my own safety. I plan to burn the house down. I hope that this ancient underground place will stay hidden and never be found. I've started to pack and prepare. However, I may just have to go. Leave everything behind. Did he make it though? Oh. Precar precarious stack of boxes. I don't see any other letters. Do you think that was it? I'm not surprised. Ooh, green. Ooh, TV's on. Hello. Oh. Ooh, thought we were gonna see something, but on the TV. Hi everyone, how's it going? Can't. 
so cool. Time to go? I think it's time to go. I think we've seen enough, don't you think? Hmm. Maybe that room's open now. Is the door here. <laughs> so excited to see me. Oh. Hold on. I am being haunted. Some of my experiences are harmless while others are quite disturbing. The other day I was working in one of my rooms and the door suddenly shut. I was locked in and couldn't escape. Then all the cabinets and furniture started to move about the room. After a few minutes the disturbance has stopped and the door is unlocked. Something is trying to get my attention. When I do get rest, I have very surreal dreams. Some even turn into nightmares. The other night, I envisioned a giant pyramid marker that opened the vortex gateway. I was sucked in. Unable to escape, I heard the most disturbing voices in the distorting atmosphere. I do not want to experience that again, and I'm having difficulty sleeping as a result. Sometimes I have trouble understanding what is real. Could this all be a hallucination? Nah, bruh. This is like a portal to another dimension. I'm sure of it. Hey, this opens now. Cool. These presences I'm feeling and seeing need to, need to help them. I believe they want me to find and activate these markers. They exist somewhere underground. I've yet to find them or fully understand what activating them will achieve. I have hesitated. Can I even trust these presences? I don't want to end up trapped. Dude, I was just reading a tiny note, I swear. Yes? Sorry, the door's jammed. Ooh, spooky lights. I like it. Now let me go. Ah, now it's a normal color. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Hmm. My findings are fascinating. Ages ago, a small community of settlers discovered this underground place of worship. They stayed and found ancient relics or markers. One of the notes I found described these markers as having otherworldly power. It's odd that there's no rec record of a settlement. It's as if they suddenly disappeared without a trace. I must be cautious. I do not know what these markers are capable of. It would explain why so many strange things have been occurring around this area. A large amount of the underground is not accessible. With some major funding, the entire place could be excavated. For now, I will continue on my own. I must find the markers and uncover what other secrets await. Yeah, I don't think I read that. Oh. Yeah, I think that's how you play it, like... Reading certain letters unlocks more of the house. It's a cool visual. Bleh. Okay, chair, calm down. Don't come for me now. Can I push you out of the way? Oh, hi. <laughs> They're so helpful. That one's just like, oh shit, let me get the chair for you. Thank 
you. Still locked though. Oh, that one closed. Oh god, what are you gonna do? Oh god, where is it going? barely see it. <laughs> Is that a portal? Do I want to go through this? We should believe them. Open, so you'll be safe activating the markers mm. to close the connection. You must be cautious. The negative energy from our collective life force has formed an entity of its own. Its power is growing. It has begun to manipulate the markers for its own desires. It may have something to do with you being here. We will find a way to bring you back to the world of the living. Help us, we will help you. Mm, I don't know. Come flying at me, aren't you? <laughs> or not? <laughs> you came there? Okay, but how am I gonna get to these markers? It must be through the basement, right? The ancient place of worship. Hmm. I guess I should have followed the light. Whoa! Now I properly saw it. That's cool.
That is so cool. Cool lighting. Do you want to play a game? Want to play the pool? Want TV? Tower? Oh. <laughs> Whenever furniture moves, it just makes me laugh because I always joke that they're excited in observation duty. <laughs> Ooh. I love how the dude wrote, like, I think they're trying to communicate with me. It's like, dude, they're full on speaking. They're literally telling you what to do. Find us underground. Explore underground. Oh, I'm back here. I mean, I was trying to get underground. Hmm. Oh, scaly shadow. Buddy. My eyes keep playing tricks on me. Every seedling, with the exception of one, has withered. Some days I see the lone survivor alive and well, other days it's dried and lifeless. The only thing that thrives at all is the poison ivy. How did that species even start to grow in this controlled environment? I'll have to find a way to uproot it. Not even the spiders like it in here. Something is wrong. Hmm. I guess even the plants are in limbo. Got to see my I did. Do you think my touch withers it? Weird. Oh, Skelly's gone. Oh, there's nothing else here. Cool. Oh. We have found a way to get you out quickly into one of these portals. Any of them? Mm hmm. He's back. Do anything with the markers though. They're destroying the whole house. Quick, get up! Oh, he's so close, dude. You're dead. Whoa. Put a door in front of him. Go, go, go! <laughs> Any of them will do. Going down below. Oh wait, am I back in the first version? Uh, how do I? How, where do I go? How do I get there? Oh wait, I can jump. I forgot. I don't fit through that though. Oh. Are they guiding me to the underground? Oh. Oh. So they're whisking me- oh. They're 
making portals in different dimensional rooms to try and get me where I need to be. Whoa! That is so cool. Bad, 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 bad. Not, that's not work. Ooh. Ah, yes. Thank you. I'm going down. Okay, we're back in the... Ooh, what is this? Oh. Another one? We're getting closer. We're underground now. Whoa! <laughs> Wow, so cool. Hear me. Did we make it? Oh, we're in front of the vent. Nice. Let's go then. Honestly, it feels like we activated the markers and they just want us to come back and finish it, but... I feel like I'm being manipulated here. I should try and jump left. I never went left. Decided to stay, something draws me to this place. Can't seem to leave, nothing will satisfy. No one is coming. It's a cool note. Pyramid. Okay, that's probably what I missed. No lights for me this time. Hmm. Are we not going there? <laughs> okay, now I'm in the right direction. I shouldn't have gone. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay. So I tried to go to the marker. Oh, outside? I'm leaving? That doesn't seem right. Do you think we're going to the alternate entrance they talked about? Like the hidden, oh, the hidden cave? Hidden entrance? Tiny cave? There it is. <gasps> it is! We are going to the secret entrance. Wait, but how do I get in here? Oh, we fit. Actually, we just moved this heavy ass looking boulder. I wonder if this leads to the same place. Oh! Oh shit. It's probably the same cave system, but it's not anywhere we've been yet. 
Oh, turns out. Wait, is that the other side? Let's have a look. Hey there. Could you light the candles as you go through it? For atmosphere? Would be great. The stability of the underground is rapidly deteriorating. Major structural support is needed for continued research. However, I need to keep going and find where the main ritual site is located. Hmm. Oh, don't break, don't break. Ah, they listened. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hello? Ooh, that is so cool. What does this do? Open it. Oh Awesome. Hold on. The wedge and the inner wheel can be thought of as a directional arrow. Rotating the lever to a specific position will unlock the elevator and the chamber doors. I believe I have found the correct orientation and have painted the solution on the chamber wall. Okay. Setting all three of these to the correct orientation will allow the elevator to ascend and descend. on top, yeah. trust any of this old technology or buildings or structures. If you go on to say that everything is rapidly deteriorating. That's cool though. The, ca the game goes between like a little silly because some of the sounds are overused but then it throws a visual at me that I'm like Whoa, that is awesome. <laughs> wow. Hmm, have to rot rotate them. Rotate the pillars. I'll go this way. Probably oh, going to that flashing light in the background, huh? Seems like that's where the action is. Okay, I need to find. Well, you can hear it thrumming. <gasps> That's cool, you can hear it faintly in the background. Don't do that. Oh, I'm going up. Layered wooden planks tied together with rope provide structure and support. The architecture in these underground tunnels is very spiritual in nature. The design is purposeful and provides good support from the inner cave structure that surrounds it. I 
I can't believe the dude discovered all of this and kept it to himself. Oh, are we going down here? Phoebe's meowing at the door, but I'm like, I'm almost done, I swear. <laughs> I'll cuddle you in a little bit. These caves are becoming increasingly unsafe, both from a structural and paranormal point of view. <laughs> I keep running into barriers that block me from progressing. Even if I could convince a private organization to finance a large-scale excavation, I don't think it's wise. I've yet to find the central markers or understand their true power. For now, the connecting gateway will remain open. My plan is to destroy evidence of my research and make sure these ancient underground caves are closed off from the outside world. I just hope I'm not too late to save myself and leave this place for good. You didn't do a good job of destroying all your notes. Um, if I do say so myself. Let's go in and see if we can find the markers. Man, I was so ready to go in there. Hello. I thought those were tiny feet. <laughs> I thought someone was hanging there, it was just the lantern. Whoa! It wasn't a tower at all. Well, in a sense, it is a tower of bones. So it's these spirits that want the help. I wonder if this was like a massive sacrifice pile back in the day. Did he make it here? Whoa. I moved it, but... Oh! Okay, now I gotta move you. Yeah! Do you think one turn will do it? Okay, let's see if there's other chambers. Oh! There you go. Oh, they're they're attached to a structure like that. It's not a whole pile of them. Well, it is, but maybe this one. No. Is there something else I can turn? Oh yeah, another ball. It. It's like the spirits want help from me, but the big skull dude is also them, but it's their negative thoughts basically, right? Manifested. So the good part of them wants help, the bad part wants something else. There's that sound again. Ooh, it's gonna engulf me. Ooh! I'm in my own dimension though. How do I I can get out of here, but to escape. I see 
vida. Whoa! So much fire in a flammable place is not a good idea. Ooh, jump it. Wait. I'm going, I'm going as fast as I can. Hey, the dude's gone. What? That makes me think I'm not in the right dimension. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Still have a ways to go. What happened to Skullman? Where is he? Oh. Run! I would grab the rat and run. <laughs> Although the rat would probably bite me. I'm sure the rat can find its own way out. They're smart. Is that Skull Man? Ooh, this way. I'm out! I'm out! I'm not out. So close. Oh! Did they put me outside? So what's... Is there anything around the house? Or is the house in its own dimension? Oh... Oh shit, we are still in the... In the isolated dimension. We're not out of the woods yet. Go, go, go! Are we going the same way we came in? make my way there, don't I? Oh. Who built this? Stones are so weird. I like it. Okay, that broke. Oh! I mess up every jump. I don't have as much momentum as I think. Sorry, excuse me. Let me try again. Ooh. Okay. Eh. There you go. Here we are. That is what I... Okay. These 
stopping me from pulling the lever. Please protect a bubble. No, no, more jumping. Making me climb this twice. It was a struggle getting up here, you know. That is it. You must hurry now. I'm trying. I'm not good at platforming. <laughs> okay, I made it. Thanks, though. I do appreciate it. Okay. Oh, I see him waiting. I saw Skelly. Whoa! What are we gonna do? Oh, I need to move these shards? How do I get to the one up there? Oh, we didn't like that. Okay. I don't know how to get up there. Let me just do the low one. I see anything. Oh, maybe I can move to the back there? Ah, stairs! How nice! Does this turn it? I think so. He sounds in pain, but he's not really putting up a fight. So I'm still worried that this is not actually what I'm supposed to do. You know? Maybe he wants this. Okay. I should do it. Oh, that's so cool. Look at the house back there. Did that do it? Over here. Together we can put an end to this evil. Over where? I didn't see her at all. Oh. Ooh, skull's disintegrating. Okay, never mind. I think we did it. Now how do I get out? Wasn't it like one of us is gonna leave the dimension? Burning house. Hmm. Where am I? Could I be in an ambulance? Hear the fire. I guess we made it out. <laughs> okay, it was a cute little indie horror. I really feel like it did something really cool with the the spirits and the visuals were like the best part of it um, I love the idea of like a house built on a cave system leading to like some ancient structures that kind of stuff I love and I loved the whole pyramid thing and like the the marker with all the bodies around it that was all amazing but and I love the title that's the reason I played it so <laughs> I think my biggest critique would be that it overdid some of the the creaks and like the the knocking and bonking on the doors, you know. 
if they brought that down to just like five instances or something, it probably would be a bit more atmospheric. And I also did a lot of time wandering through the house, just like trying to find those letters. I know they were pretty obvious, so it was more on me that I missed them, but I definitely like that it was definitely going for something more than just like explore a house, cheap scares, and you're done. It tried to definitely put way more story into it, and I like that we were trapped. We were kind of like in limbo with the house and the presence until one of us made it out. All in all, not too bad. I hope you guys liked it too. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And that's it. Thanks.